Hey guys, it's Di, and this is going to be a quick review of the Fisher Price My First Dollhouse. And this has a number of the furniture accessories that were included in an accessory bundle pack on FisherPrice.com, and also has an additional room pack besides what was included in that accessory pack. Currently, around Christmas, the three rooms of furniture and this dollhouse was $65. And then the one additional room, which was the sister's room, which came with this little character and this bed over here, was an additional. $8. You can buy just the dollhouse that comes with the figures that you see here, the mom, the dad, and believe the baby, and then the price is closer to $48, but none of the furniture would be in there. So all the pieces like the beds and tables and lamps are all sold separately, or you have to buy them in a bundle. So this is a Christmas present that my two and a half year old received and she's just starting to get into pretend play. She had a Fisher Price Little People house that we upgraded her from into this and all in all, so far, it has been a fantastic purchase. This actually is normally in her bedroom, and it's one of her uh, toys that stays in her bedroom. And it's really interesting to come in and see where she has put different items and how much she actually pretend plays with it. These little stairs over here are a great accent piece because she'll actually take the figures and have them step up the stairs and even things like these blankets she'll put a figure on the bed and then try to cover them up with the blanket so the toddlers really kind of pick up on the different accessory pieces that are there so a few of the things I had to carry it in here some some of the things have been moved around so I just wanted to show you a few of the things that my toddler has done just to give you an idea of the pretend play so she put the baby in the crib up there and put the little blanket over her and she actually had the figures for um, the house in a different location. She had the chairs for the table downstairs in the bathtub and the TV that came with the couch for downstairs over here on the balcony. So it's just interesting to kind of see what your toddler does with the different things. You can see the dog is standing on the stove. So I just thought it was kind of cute and funny to see the different areas they put things in. It really kind of makes their imagination and grow. So down here on the lower level, you can see that there's a little living room area and the living room furniture is sold separately. And that is basically this TV that's up here. These two couches, which are separatable. And then also this little table that has a lamp on it. And this, my daughter was using as a bedside table, but it actually came with the little couch down here. And also the dog came with this set as well. So that is the living room set down there. And then the mom and dad's room has this bed, a lamp, and the armoire. The baby's room has the crib, the rocking chair. Sister's room has this pink bed over here and it also came with the figure. So I believe everything that came with the house without having to buy anything additionally is now sitting here left in the house. So the toilet comes in the kitchen and the kitchen area is movable. And you can see that that came with the house if you bought just the house. And I believe the table and chair set also came with just the house. So if you bought just the house without any of the additional furniture accessory pieces, this is what you would get. They do have different ethnic families if you'd like a different ethnicity. And they didn't have any different hair colors, so we did have to get just uh, blonde haired children. Even though my daughter that we bought this for has darker brown hair. And so this is basically what the house looks like, bare stock. And it's a really durable plastic and it has really great details. So you can see over here in the bathroom, there's like a towel molded into the wall, mirror. And down here in the kitchen, there's like a little computer area with a clock. The door opens up. The kitchen isn't attached to the wall. There is a little phone that doesn't really do anything. And when you turn it around, This is what the front of the house looks like, and I actually really like that there's no sound or anything involved with the house. The front door does open and close, but the doorbell doesn't make any noise. And I actually really like that because we wanted this for my daughter's room, and we wanted it really to be for her imagination and for her to get that pretend play aspect from it. So I like that she is in control of making all the noises for it, and really in control of honestly moving all the furniture around right down to the toilet. Up here in the baby's room, or what we she uses as the baby's room, you can see that there's a baby blanket and some toys kind of molded in, so they kind of suggest that that's the baby's room up here. 
And the only room in the house that the mom and dad's bed will fit in is this room right here. So this is the dollhouse setup, how I would put the furniture, but there's a lot of different ways that you can put the furniture in there. The only real kind of negative thing that there is is that there's not a separate room for the sister's room if you buy this set separately. And also the baby's rocking chair will fit in the room, but if you want the two children to share the room, then that furniture really starts to kind of take up the whole space up there. So we've just been using that as like a veranda <laughs> and putting a rocking chair out there. But you know, I mean, honestly, you know, this is my two and a half year old's toy. She can put the furniture wherever she wants. If she wants to stick two, cha two chairs in the bathtub, then she's more than welcome to. So I think that this is a really great item for kids in the two and a half to three age range. I know that she's gotten a lot of use of it. She really loves going to her room and playing with it. And I think, honestly, this was one of the best Christmas purchases that we made. I really like that it doesn't make, you know, any sounds on its own. And my husband actually really liked that aspect as well. So this is the Fisher Price, my first dollhouse. I think it's a really great item for kids that are in that pretend play stage. Just a really great durable toy that both of my kids are gonna be able to get some use out of because obviously when my older daughter outgrows it, my younger daughter will probably be able to use it at that point. One great thing about these little people is that they are articulated so their arms and their legs move. So they can sit in the beds, they can lay down, they can sit in the chairs, and a lot of the kids that are going to be in the age range for this are going to be, you know, pretend playing with the potty. The potty does have a seat that lifts up, so I really liked that, and they can sit on there. So I like that they really thought about toddlers and how small their hands are, you know, and really what level they're at for gross motor skills, but the fact that, you know, these do have the articulated arms and legs, so that way they can sit and just do a little bit more than what the Little People series does. So hopefully this review has been helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions, but I really do love this dollhouse. It was a great Christmas purchase, and my daughter seems to really like it as well. Thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.